Hello everyone! In today's video I will show you how to create a domain with a value range. The domain describes the data type of a field and its possible values. Then I show you how these values can be read in ABAP. Let's start with the transaction SE80. This is one way to create a domain, the second way is the transaction SE11. So right mouse click, create, then dictionary object and domain. Then I type in here a domain name. My example today is set vehicle. Then OK. Then we need a short description. I type here vehicles. Then the definition. The data type, for example, a character. Number of characters, one. And the output length, one, two. Then I click on the tab value range. And here I can I define my values. So a list of vehicles, for example. First car, second train, third bus, fourth plane, five uh, boat. Then I click on save and then uh, I need a, a package. Then I click here on save and then I have a transport request. And then I click on continue. And I click on activate. Then let's go back. And now I use the transaction SE11. Then I click on domain. And now I want to uh, have a look to the values. And click on value range. And I see here my uh, vehicle list. And this domain I can use in ABAP. For this, I open the transaction SE80 and I click on one of my programs. Um, the name is set read domain. Then click on edit mode. And to read the values of a domain, we can use a function module. And the name of this function module is dd underscore dom values underscore get. Then I see here an exporting values and tables. Uh, first, we need the name of the domain. It's set vehicle. Next, the, the text, type here x, and an importing, it's a an, uh, return value, and for this we have a look to the function module so that we know which uh, data type we need for the table and the return value. So the exporting value is uh, type C and the table is of structure DD07V. So let's copy this. Then I go back. And now I create two variables. Data LV uh, RC type C. And next the table LT DD zero seven type DD type table of DD zero seven we so and these variables I type here are L V R C and LT DD zero seven we 
Okay, let's delete the exceptions for this example. And now I check if the call was successful. So I write here if do sub rc is zero. And next I check if the return value is zero. So I write here if lvrc is zero or equals zero and end if and if this is uh, true so I write here the values out with CL demo output display and here I write my local table ltdd 07v so press on pretty printer and I activate the code and I run the program and I see now the table, the domain name, the positions, the domain value and the text. And because I'm locked here with the English language, I see the texts in English. So if I pass here the, the language too, for example, for D for German and I activate the code again and I run the program and now I have no text because I haven't maintained the text in German. For this I have to lock, lock in uh, with the German language in the system and I have to maintain the text in German. So I can show you this with another domain um, for example, CC category. Let's uh, activate the code. The language is German and we see here the language key D for German and the, the text in German. So I go back and let's change the language to English. Activate again and run the program. And now we see the language is English, English and the text is in English. So yes, that was it already. Thanks for watching. I hope you can take something useful out of my videos. I'm always happy when I get comments, so feel free to leave some here. If you haven't already, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I hope you will join me again for the next videos. Thank you and see you soon.